Hello students, today we're going to learn about the electron configuration um, of ions and how we can figure that out. <clears throat> so first of all, what do you know already? You already know how to count the number of electrons in a neutral atom, okay, as it is in the periodic table, and as well as an ion, okay? Uh, and you also know, already know how to find the electron configuration of an atom. Today we're going to combine uh, these two pieces of knowledge here to find the electron configuration of an ion, okay? Uh, and we're also going to talk about this term here, isoelectronic ions. Okay, um, just a little recap here. We're going to answer these four questions, okay? Uh, how many electrons does calcium have? Uh, well, if we find calcium in the periodic table, here it is. We know that in the neutral atom we have the same number of protons and electrons. So the atomic number is the number of protons and the number of electrons for uh, neutral ions. So we're going to have 20 um, electrons here of the calcium ion, or excuse me, the calcium atom. Now how many electrons in the calcium ion? Okay, well I have a 2 plus here, so that means that I lost two electrons. If it became positive, that means I lost electrons. So right now, I have 18 electrons. Okay? Uh, and what is the electron configuration of calcium? Well, we can do this the long way. Okay, this is going to be 1s1, 1s2 for helium, 2s1, 2s2, 2p6, then we're going to go all the way down here, 3s1, 3s2, 3p6 and then 4s2 okay so if I go back over here I'm gonna go 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 well what might be the electron configuration of the calcium ion Okay, well, if I lost two electrons, here is what these little numbers mean, okay? So here I have the energy level, or, or the shell, okay? The S is the subshell, and then the little 2 is how many electrons we have in that subshell. So if I'm going to lose my two outer electrons, i got to get this over here, and it's going to go away, because I lost two electrons. So the electron configuration of the calcium ion is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and that's where I stop. I don't go for the, the next two electrons here because it lost two um, electrons. Well, um, let's do a little bit more practice. Okay, remember, ions are always trying to imitate the noble gases. If you look at the electron configuration of noble gases, they are always full. Okay, helium here has the first energy level completely full. Neon, the second energy level, or the valence shell, completely full. Same thing with argon, okay, completely full again. Well, let's look at oxygen. If oxygen were to become an ion, okay, again, it would try to imitate the noble gases, so it would add two electrons. Well, if it gains two electrons, it becomes a negative 2 charge. Also, the um, electron configuration of regular oxygen, okay, before I put those red arrows, would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. But now that I've gained two electrons, the oxygen ion is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Okay? And then over here, I have, this is phosphorus, okay? Normally, it would be 3s2, 3p3. But phosphorus, when it forms an ion, it wants to copy the noble gases. So the phosphorus ion would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Again, normally, phosphorus is 3p3, but we've added three electrons, so it's going to be 3p6. Okay? 
rubidium. Well, if rubidium loses this over here, okay, it has the, <coughs> excuse me, this full shell right here, okay? So, rubidium normally has 5s1, but once it loses that, it's, going, it's just simply going to stop at 4p6, okay? So, if we look at oxygen here, it has the same electric configuration as uh, neon, okay? Phosphorus would have the same electric configuration as argon. Okay, so they're always trying, the phosphorus ion, of course, and the oxygen ion is what I'm talking about. They're always trying to imitate the noble gases, okay? So that's how we figure out the electric configuration of an ion. You see how many electrons were added or taken away, and you either add electrons or you take them away from the electric configuration. Now let's think about this. How many um, electrons do these ions have, okay? Oxygen normally has eight valence electrons. It's atomic number eight. So when you add two more, it's going to have ten electrons. Okay. Aluminum normally has thirteen, but here we lost three. So aluminum is going to have ten electrons. Neon is atomic number ten, so it also has ten electrons. This is what we call isoelectronic ions okay iso means the same and electronic of course refers to electrons okay uh, so isoelectronic ions are ions that have the same number of electrons so all you have to do is count the number of electrons in an ion and then compare if they are the same number if they are then they have the same uh, number of electrons obviously and the same electron configuration okay all three of these guys their electron configuration is the same exact electron configuration of neon because they're trying to imitate neon okay and they are isoelectronic because they have the same amount of electrons that's it